Daisy, the diesel rail car's work in the countryside was full of surprises. But she was frightened of bulls and cows, and she remained very lazy and stubborn. One day, Toby brought Henrietta to the station where Percy was grumpily shunting. Hello, Percy. I see Daisy's left the milk behind again. I'll have to make a special journey with it, I suppose. Anyone would think I'd nothing to do, grumbled Percy. Tell you what, replied Toby, I'll take the milk, you fetch my freight cars. The drivers and station master agreed. Percy had never been to the quarry before. He began ordering the freight cars about. Hurry along, he said. The freight cars grumbled to each other. This is Toby's place. Percy's got no right to poke his funnel up here and push us around. They whispered and passed the word. Pay Percy back. Pay Percy back. Come along, puffed Percy. No nonsense. We'll give him nonsense, giggled the freight cars. But they followed so quietly that Percy thought they were under control. Suddenly they saw a notice ahead. All trains stopped to pin down brakes. Beep, beep! Brakes, conductor, please! But before he could check them, the freight car surged ahead. On, on, they cried. Help, help, whistled Percy. The man on duty at the crossing rushed to warn traffic with his red flag, but was too late to switch Percy to the runaway siding. Frantically trying to grip the rails, Percy slid into the yard. Beep, beep, look out. The brake van was in smithereens. Percy's driver and fireman had jumped clear, but Percy was stranded. Next day, Sir Topham Hatt arrived. Toby and Daisy had helped to clear the wreckage, but Percy remained on his perch of freight cars. We must now try, said Sir Topham Hatt, to run the branch line with Toby and a diesel. You have put us in an awkward predicament, Percy. I am sorry, sir. You must stay there till we are ready, continued Sir Topham Hatt. And you really must be more careful with freight cars. Percy sighed. The freight cars groaned beneath his wheels. He quite understood about awkward predicaments. Sir Topham Hatt spoke severely to Daisy, too. My engines work hard. I send lazy engines away. Daisy was ashamed. However, Toby says you worked hard after Percy's accident. So you shall have another chance. Thank you, sir, said Daisy. I will work hard. Toby says he'll help me. Excellent. What Toby doesn't know about branch line problems isn't worth knowing. Our Toby's an experienced engine. Next day, Thomas came back. And Percy was sent to be mended. Annie and Clarabelle were delighted to see Thomas again, and he took them for a run at once. All are now friends, and Toby has taught Daisy a great deal. She shooed a cow off the line the other day all by herself. That shows you, doesn't it?